Hey guys, all right, let's go ahead and do a quick review today of this ultrasonic uh, record cleaner. This is our, our item here. This is it right here. comes with a, uh, an instruction booklet and everything you need to get going. We will show you the parts and pieces and actually put a couple items in here and get them cleaned. So this is our unit here. comes with a, a main plug for the sonic piece and then an additional plug. This is our record turner. You can see that we have uh, the record adapter right here. And it's really, really simple to use, you guys. You're just gonna thread off uh, the locking piece and the nut. You're gonna get these discs that come with it so you can put diff different thicknesses of records on here, uh, different sizes of records, holds LPs, holds 45s, holds 33s, whatever size record you might have. You're gonna put this nut back on and screw the cap on here. Uh, really, really simple to use. Um, the actual uh, turning motor right here just kind of clips onto the side of the tank and then you're just going to slide this piece right in to the turning motor. There you go. And then you're going to grab a screwdriver and just tighten down the little locking screw on the back. And you'll see here as soon as we tighten this down, there we go, that once we plug the motor in here, this is our little adapter plug uh, for the turning motor that's going to gently turn our record, see there our record goes and it's turning. We've got some water in our tank. You can see we just have regular distilled water here. We're gonna put a couple of drops of dish soap in there and that's what we're gonna to use to clean our record. The nice thing about this sonic cleaner here is you can put um, lots of different things in to uh, clean. Um, comes with a lid if you're gonna put items in there and leave them in for a while. You've got a timer here you can hold up to 30 minutes of timer for the sonic cleaning this is a uh, temperature dial here so this will heat the water that's going to help clean as well this is in celsius not fahrenheit so we're going to turn our heater um, probably up to 45 or 50 for this particular one here always make sure you turn your heater off manually the heater does not turn off when the timer goes off on the ultrasonic uh, portion of the program so we're going to turn it up to 50 it's going to get a little loud, but we'll, uh, we'll show you actually what's happening here. We'll go ahead and start our, start our record going around. As you can see, we've only got water going up to here, so we're going to go ahead and add some more water into this tank uh, so we can, we can get that entire record cleaned. There we go. We are almost up to our fill line there, and we've got a really good amount of this record uh, getting ready to be clean. So let's go ahead and uh, fire up the... Uh, the the sonic agitator we'll set it for 20 minutes and you can hear the sound of it going now we'll go ahead and zoom in nice and close and see the water's agitating there and this will run for 20 or 30 minutes and this will take all of the extra debris and dirt off of our record All right, guys, our timer just stopped here. And as you can see, we've got a good amount of sediment uh, working at the bottom of our tank here. This all came off of this record, which is great. We can do a lot of other things in this tank here. I like to clean, you know, kitchen equipment like this. It's really, really hard to, uh, uh, hard to clean and hard to, hard to get done. We can just set it in there. I'll show you that here in a second. Don't want to forget, it also comes with a record drying rack. You just... Uh, set your records in there when you're done put a paper towel underneath and it can dry them off really well um, We'll go ahead and get this uh, taken off and we'll put the uh, the wire basket in there and show you uh, how it works All right guys as you can see we've got our, our record in our drying rack. We're going to go ahead and put our uh, Mesh strainer in here. We're gonna we already got our heat turned on. We're gonna turn our timer on There it goes. We're going to let that get nice and clean. Just leave it right in there. Nothing to it. We can also put the lid, put a lid on this here. That's going to help take care of some of our noise issues because it is pretty loud. But we'll come back and check on this guy in a little while.
All right, guys, our food strainer is done. First, we're going to make sure we turn off our heat all the way to off. You can see when the heat's on, the light comes on. So we're going to turn it all the way to off. Look at that. Nice and clean. No more debris. We're trying to rinse it in the sink to get the rest of the soap off. But look, we got all kinds of stuff that came out of here. This was, quote unquote, clean out of the dishwasher. And as you can see, clearly it wasn't clean. So guys, this ultrasonic cleaner has tons of applications for um, anything from fine parts to kitchen tools, obviously to records. You can see our record is almost dry and it's looking really, really good here. This is a great multi-purpose tool to have around the house, around the kitchen, around the garage. Any record collector is going to love this tool. You guys are going to love it too. Two thumbs way up.